Gotta show love to my, my guy drove from Kentucky. Kentucky to come get this truck done. Six inch coil over, rough country kit. He's gonna come back and get some wheels and tires, so you guys stay tuned. But my guy, he drove all that way to come get a lift kit done. That's love right there. That's love. I have some of the best supporters on YouTube. The people that are willing to drive that far to come get stuff done. You know, it, it happens a lot more and more as the days goes on. As, as we grow, we get bigger and bigger. But it, it means the world to us. You guys have no idea. He dr people drive that far it just it blows my mind that people are willing to come see us and, and spend money like that it just and it's not about the money it's about the relationship and what we build and I just I can't believe it and I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys I'm hoping to be able to build this one pretty soon I'm not gonna show too much of that but I, I'm hoping to build that one pretty soon and we got Dewey's truck up here yeah that's nicest guy in the fucking world right there boys 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 welcome back to the channel Okay, this one's for you. It's the motherfucking spot. I'm ready to grind today. I'm ready to film, I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to get some bread. I got this like karate chop vibe going on today. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I'm just something like, like the 24 by 12 TIS, 35, 1250, 24 gladiators. The gladiators are the move on the six inch. That McGoy's kit all day long. I'm sorry. McGoy's is the way to go. It really is. McGoy's, the cross member, above everything else, the cross member makes the McGoy's kit. That's why we all have them. It really is. So way to go. 2021 Chevy Silverado. 24 by 12 TIS 544 black and milled with the 35 12 80, 24 Gladiator X Comp MTs. It's a beautiful setup. Not too crazy expensive. We're finishing up on a weekly basis. I mean, I'm uh, I'm really blessed to be able to build a lot of these trucks. Even set at 7, the McGoys isn't too crazy big. I showed you guys in the last video that six to seven inch is sitting right at my shoulders and I'm not a crazy tall guy. It's just, it's a, it's a decent size, even compared to the nine inch of the older body style Tahoe. So just good all around truck, I'm telling you. If you guys are, are interested in something like this, the six to seven is very reasonable, not too big. Definitely not as, as crazy as the, you know, the nine and the 26s and 37s. Can still daily drive it with ease, with no issues. It's an awesome setup. Super blessed to build so many of these. That McGoy's kit is beautiful. I love those box compression struts too, with the milled accents or the chrome accents. Beautiful. Clips in this video are like all over the place. You hit this truck, and I'm gonna suck you. Yeah, no. What are you doing? You're in my way. I'm oh, bad, dog. You're in my way. I believe in you. Look at that Yeti cooler back there. The clips in this video are all over the place. I've been so busy this week. I'm just mentally, I'm drained. I just, I can't, I can't think straight. It's just, we've been way too busy this week. But I want to show love again. It just, it's, it's been the, it's been the vibe of this video. I didn't even know it. I was so busy today. I didn't even get time to, to meet him and, you know, enjoy this experience. Drove all the way from Savannah just to get us to put wheels and tires on. There's plenty of other shops he could have came through. And I just, I want to show love. This this beautiful, beautiful Stormtrooper kind of style Ram 2020 or 2021 with the Hemi in it. We did some TIS wheels on it. He brought them up here just to get them mounted by us. I mean, that's that's love. I can't, I can't show enough appreciation to you guys for, for doing things like this. It, it blows my mind. I love you guys so much. I've got the best supporters on, on Instagram, on YouTube, all of it. You guys are the best. The uh, uh, Andre Wilson, buddy, your wheels came in. We're gonna go look at, uh, so I showed you guys the 26 by 12s a couple days ago. 
and he's super excited and he called me and he's like look i already know how i am i'm gonna want to do 14 watts so here in a couple minutes we're gonna go take a look at andre's new wheels for the chrome fts kit that's coming from chicago next week 45 minutes north of chicago and i want to show you guys dewey's truck or dewey's uh forerunner I, I love i've always wanted to lift a forerunner i remember living in tallahassee and i used to see this white one drive around all the time go through the chick-fil-a parking lot and he had like the ladder on the back with the roof rack and all the cool shit and uh, we just put this roof rack on Dewey's 4Runner. Turned out amazing. He's going to be super happy. Uh, I apologize for being here all week. It's just, it's been so crazy for us. And we're humans, you know. Uh, we're not perfect up here, but we do the best that we can for everybody. Treat everybody like my mother coming through. That's that's all you can do, right? But Dewey's truck's finished up. Um, I think we're putting some 26s on this FTS truck that we did a couple days ago. Shout out to the big Southern Tire banner on top, too. I mean, everybody's showing love out here today. We got a couple cool things coming through the shop. We got the tw we got another set of 26s uh, going on a truck inside right now that I'm going to show you, and then we're going to go take a look at Andre's wheels. I'm super excited. He went to 2614s, and I can't wait to show him because I know he's watching. I called him earlier a couple minutes ago. I'm like, hey, hey, your wheels are here. And we just we talked for like 50s. Super nice guy, man. I, I can't wait for him to come down here. But it's hot as hell. Let's run inside. Let's go take a look at some, uh, some 26s. talking about this made my day right here it's been a it's this video has been all over the place but we're gonna we're gonna end it on a good note we're gonna end it on something amazing we've had some amazing moments in the last couple of days this week has been crazy like i said slick vic pull the hey what the hell did you do to your truck i used it as a truck where'd you go what'd you do uh, i need to know went through a bounty hole scheme team did you actually go through a bounty hole Kinda. it was a little one it was a baby bounty hole where'd you go to to do all this bounty. oh really the Spartan. The horns are all nasty. Come on. Come on. Can I write bread gang in the dirt? <laughs> not, the, not the FTS lift kit. Oh, man. This ain't Ford. I think that's what Ford, that's what they say about Fords, right? Damn, Lou. You ain't, you ain't have to you ain't have to pull in shitting on him like that, Lou. Now. He can just pull out wherever he wants to. Man, you didn't have to pull in shitting on him like that, Lou. That's crazy. And the back one too. Hey, for real. The hey, the back one looks. Hey, the back is is dumb. The back looks so much better. I like the front. The back gives it so much more of a different look, though. I didn't realize it had curves in it. The like back is good. crazy. The back is... Damn. <laughs> and it fits with the factory exhaust cutouts. That's crazy. Me and Vic drove to Illinois a couple weekends ago. Picked up a dog. Shout out to Lolo at home. Shout out to KB because we went up there to, to pick up some bumpers for this truck actually and you guys finally get to see it done and it, it I mean it turned out amazing. We got the front bodyguard bumper all gloss black with the silver inserts. The red tow hooks are stupid clean and it really brings this truck together. You guys have seen a similar bumper on Jay Ford's truck, the blue one, which I mean that truck is, is just so famous at this point. But the black gloss bumper with the silver accents, the light bars all work. The red tow hooks bring it together. I love the little bit of red accents. I'm, every time I see this truck, every time I have it on YouTube, 100%, this is that wide bow tie if I got a new body style truck. This is the upgraded version of my truck. The front bumper turned out absolutely amazing. These bodyguard bumpers really fit the factory body lines of the truck perfectly. Lou, I love the way this turned out. This actually, I thought he was gonna have a little less silver and this looks better than I thought that it would originally, to be honest. I really like that. A little carbon fiber inserts in the, looks like carbon fiber maybe, something like that. But, but, he's shitting on Jay Ford now. That rear bumper though, that rear bumper's fucking crazy. 
the curve, I mean, just the, the angles. Lou, this turned out absolutely amazing. A sil oh, man. I, I bet you look in your rearview mirror and people start crashing behind you now. Because they're, they're too busy looking at your truck. That looks so good. I love it with the silver. Silver turned out good. Man, I love that. That looks so good. That really does look, that looks so good. It looks more heavy. And to think, I was a part of the journey. Damn, Lou, that turned out good, man. I want to I want to end the video. We've been working so hard recently, putting in 13, 14, 15 hour days. We're working so so hard right now. The content's great. We're building some amazing trucks. This week has been slow on the content side, but at work it's been just stupid busy. A lot of the guys went side by side riding this weekend and I should have went, but I had some things come up. They had a great time. I want to try and put some clips in here of a couple of the guys sending it at this place called Sunnyside out towards Augusta. I definitely want to go film some videos out there at some point and just side by side riding in general. But I'm going to take a little break. You know, we got the truck content at the beginning of this video. We're going to do a little bit of fishing this afternoon or this morning, Sunday morning. I got Thomas here with me. Come on, Mr. Mr. Camera Shy. I got Thomas here. We're going to go... Uh, Try out a little local golf course pond. Hopefully we don't get kicked out. It's, it's real, real quiet up here. I didn't realize it was this quiet. So we're gonna send the drone up, get some cool drone shots of the golf course, of the lake, of the pond, and uh, we're gonna throw a little quick dangle in the water. And I'm actually, um, you never met Brian from Tallahassee, did you? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to see Brian tonight. Brian, the, I filmed Brian in my first video. Brian's the guy that's in my very first YouTube video, and I haven't seen him in probably a year since he came to Atlanta last, and he's in Atlanta today at a Braves game, so I'm gonna go see him tonight. So we're gonna do some fishing, then we're gonna go meet up with Brian later, so. a Little bit of non-truck content, but I'm super excited. Get away from the uh, the normal grind. Just have some fun today. I got Dunkin' Donuts in me, so the vibes are, <laughs> the vibes are on point. What happened here, will I? Uh, one of the brackets came loose. Oh, man. Yeah, come down here. He's too small. They're biting on it, but it's too small. If you got a smaller hook, you might get one. We fished around at that pond that's at the front of the golf course for a little bit. There's a bunch of little tiny fish off in the little corner over there. I feel like that water's too, the word that they used on the sign is irrigated. So. We gotta walk through all of this nonsense over here. But I feel like if you look on Google Maps, this water over here is a lot more brown. And that one has a very distinct green tint to it. So that water's probably got way too many chemicals to have any kind of decent fish in it. But we're gonna walk down this way towards some probably more natural water. We're right at the edge of Lake Alatoona, so. Maybe we'll have a little bit of luck this way. Fishing was a bust yesterday, and actually I got a call for a video that I went to go film right in the middle of fishing, so the, the fishing kip clips kind of like randomly cut off, and that's, that's my explanation for it. But you guys will see that collab in the next video. Awesome, awesome collab that we knocked out yesterday. It's why my truck is squatted right now. But a couple of cool things I want to show you guys at the shop this morning to make up for the lack of the fishing content. Our uh, buddy with the F-150 came through. One of, to be honest, it's one of my favorite wheels that we've done because I have a soft spot in my heart for red wheels. I really do. And just a little bit of red. I'm always a, always a fan of the spinning caps. I mean, that's that's cool as shit. How, how can you not like that? Got the 8-inch FTS kit with the coilovers. I'm really becoming a big fan of these FTS kits. Look at this. Look at this crazy shit right here. This is insane. This is crazy. I I really like this. I, I say a lot of stuff in my videos. I say a lot of stuff, but I, I actually really like this. We got the red alligator. 
That's so crazy. This is cool as shit. This really is. That's so crazy. We got the custom doors, custom seats, custom, look, even the, the custom mats. Just everything. The headliner with the colors. Hey, so t tell me what's tell me what's going on. We got so much going on. T tell me. So I know we did the doors. I know obviously this is alligator, red alligator. What's the ostrich. red ostrich, red alligator, and suede? Got That's... four tens and eight eights in the doors. So four. Wait, There's four. Two eights and one ten in each door. Okay. Four inch pro tweeters. DS18. I got four Brazilian sound ten inch subs on a eight K Terra amp. And uh, the mids and highs are on two 3K Terra amps. Running lights in the headliner, the doors, center console. The center console the is cool too. It's gone. It's ran off a lithium battery right there in the center console in the front. Oh, the whole truck is run off that battery? Yeah, you can see it inside the front. Here, I'm going to have to. My, or you can move my phone. I'm going to have to. I got my backpack. I need right. to take my backpack on. To... That's cool. I, I knew it was going to be cool. I knew it was gonna be cool, but even oh, can I look? Even the even the custom mats. Look underneath it. So that's just something that he did. Lay in, they light up as well, but we're going with a different route. Uh, some some new uh, like plexiglass lay ins that light up real bright. That's so cool. This whole truck. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So that those batteries in there run the truck. Yeah. That's crazy. I've never seen. This is like, I I knew it was gonna be cool, but this is by I mean just a hundred percent, way way better than expectations. I knew it was gonna be cool, but this this is hundred like without a doubt. I see a lot of stuff in my videos. Coolest interior that I've ever seen personally in my entire life, 100%. Because I'm, I'm a big red fan. I've always wanted red, red truck, red wheels, red everything. And this is like... We were um, we were at Street, Street Whip Mega Show yesterday. About 250 cars there. And there was a lot of old schools with really nice interior. New schools with nice interior stuff on 34s. And I, I won first place, best, of, uh, best interior. Whoever did this did a... Fucking phenomenal job. It's a Showtime Billy out of um, Showtime Auto Trim uh, out of Clayton County over by South Lake Mall. Okay. Man, this this is cool right here. And then Power Hog Sport uh, Customs did the uh, uh, money and uh, them with uh, they did all the music in the truck. That's cool. That's cool as shit. Tins, headliner, every every little detail. That's so cool. Coolest interior I've ever seen in my entire life. And you guys know I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the red. It, it's it's a normal thing for those of you guys that come up here from out of town. You know, he just came by for a retour, at his, you know, for 500 miles after he got his lift kit done. But you know, these these people really come up here and hang out all the time. It's just it's part of the daily life. It's like nine o'clock. And you know this is the stuff that we got going on already this morning it just it gets wild up here man it's it's some it's hard to keep up to be honest all right andre i told you that i would show you your new wheels before you got a chance to come down here andre is coming down here later this week for a nine inch chrome fts kit some 26 by 14 kg ones and some 37 inch gladiators chrome lift kit i'm excited for this one the 2021 gmc denali the chrome lift and chrome wheels it really doesn't get any better than that. But I showed you guys Andre's 26 by 12, and now I want to show you his 26 by 14. He's upgraded a little bit, just a little bit. So I want to, I want to show you guys before we do the truck. Because I've been, I've been kind of teasing. I actually get people that ask me all the time, like, "Hey, have y'all done that truck yet? Have y'all done that truck yet?" Because I've been kind of, kind of hyping this one up a little bit, and rightfully so. It's going to be a beautiful truck. So we went from a 26 by 12 KG1 gear to a 26 by 14 KG1 Yaz. Left and right, true directional. 
This is a beautiful wheel. I'm normally not a big fan of directional wheels, but I've always been a fan, and y'all might flame me in the comments for this one. Uh, Fuel Forged makes, you, makes the wheels. Is it the FF09? It kind of looks like this. I've always been a huge fan of that Fuel Forged wheels, and now KG1 obviously has a, a similar design, and I'm a huge fan. I didn't realize until now that it's, look at, it's got the, look at the pockets in here. So it's not just the openings, it's actually got extra it's little milled. pockets here. That's really cool. That's a beautiful wheel. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see these extra little pockets. So we've got the, you know, the inserts here. We've got your triangle insert here, and then it's got an extra little. Uh, you, you can't really tell little things like that when you're looking at the pictures online. That 26 by 14 has got a really nice deep dish to it. You can see with my hand, it's got a, it's got a really nice wider than my hand dish. Beautiful color, beautiful polish coming from KG1. I, I really like the, the kind of pointy star design in the middle here. Man, this, this is a beautiful, beautiful wheel. I pulled out the 26 by 12 so you guys could get excited and now I've pulled out the 26 by 14s because we've upgraded a little bit and I'm super excited, but I hope you guys are enjoying the content right now. We've got a huge, huge collab coming to the channel next. So if you guys have not hit the like button and the subscribe button, please do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let's get this bread.